So hey guys, it's Zyant again, and I'm back after a week or two long break from the whole internet, YouTube, Twitter thing that we all know and love. I wanted to talk today about the future of my channel, because I love Battlefield. It's still one of my favorite games of all time, but it's not the game I'll be playing for the rest of my gaming career, which I'll, of course I'll talk about in my gaming future series. But for right now, I want to expand my horizons. As much as I would love to remain a Battlefield channel and a Battlefield-only channel, I've said it before, I don't like being a slave to any series. And there are so many good games out there. Battlefield is just one of them, and I want to play and experience and bring you entertaining content from as many as I can. So I bought Spec Ops The Line during the Amazon sale, and I read a couple reviews, I played the demo, and for me it looked and played like a really cheesy... Nolan North voiced Gears of War clone. But as with all things, you can't make an intelligent opinion until you've seen the whole package. Which a lot of people did in the Battlefield 3 Alpha and Beta. It wasn't the game they expected, so they immediately think, Oh, well, the full game can't be like this, and they play it, and lo and behold, it is. Or vice versa, and they hate the Battlefield 3 Alpha and Beta. If this is what the game's gonna be like, I'm not gonna play it. So they don't play it, which is fine. For Spec Ops The Line, then, I wanted to play it just because it, it's something different. I'm not a third-person shooter person. I've never really played one of those. And so I read a couple reviews, and they said that the gameplay was average for a shooter. But the story was the real crux of the game. I even heard someone compare it to Heart of Darkness. And if you're bold enough to make that claim, because that's one of the greatest books in the English language, then there's something to be said for the story. But what does this have to do with my channel? Well, simply put, I want to do a Let's Play of Spec Ops The Line. My main reasoning is I want to do Battlefield live comms, but I can't come into live commentary cold and expect to be at all successful. And with a Let's Play being almost completely freeform, or at least that's how I perceive them to be, and so not only will it give me the opportunity to bring you guys some fairly consistent content, it'll give me some experience in a less stressful situation with live commentaries. Whether or not this actually happens on the channel, I will still be playing Spec Ops The Line, and I will probably be writing a review of it on TopTierTactics.com. For those of you who are interested, the link is in the description below, blah blah blah, shameless plug. I'm not, however, giving up on my Battlefield content. That's still a game that I'm going to love playing. But as I've gone through my initial YouTube formative weeks and months, I've come to realize that analyzing game design and game mechanics has sort of the niche that I'm going to try and fill. So I want to talk about more than just the actual game design itself. I want to talk about the communities around which games form. For example, I've been playing Pokemon recently, and that got me thinking of how that exploded and how that series is continually successful over almost two decades worth of development. And then of course I would have to talk about the cards and about the anime and about all the other auxiliary things that made it as profitable as it is. Which would of course bring me to the idea of a game's longevity. How has Counter-Strike 1.6, which came out 11 years ago and has remained completely unchanged, is still one of the most highly populated games on the PC day after day. Which, of course, could then take me in any number of directions, depending on what you guys think is worth your time to listen to. And once I'm finished with the Spec Ops The Line Let's Play, I'm going to start bringing out regular commentaries with different shooters in the background. Yes, there will still be Battlefield, and there'll probably be a lot of Battlefield, but I want to bring in some Team Fortress 2, because I'm starting to get back into that game. I want to bring in Left 4 Dead. Heck, I want to bring in the entire Valve library, because all of their games are awesome. I also want to try Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, because I remember when that game was announced at E3, either last year or the year before, I was really interested. I haven't mentioned this before, but I worked at GameStop for about six months my junior year of high school. And Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, maybe it was 1, had just come out on the PS3 while I was working at GameStop. And while the game intrigued me, I didn't have the money or the time to spend playing it. Now, I hear it needs patching for the multiplayer to work, but I also hear that the single player and co-op modes are great, and I might be able to do a let's play of the single player and then co-op with one of you guys or culprit or one, some of the guys from the 008 crew. 
So I hope to see you guys next time with possibly another gaming history analysis video. But until then, guys, I'll see you later.